Hi guys, my name is Vasil. In this series, I'm gonna teach you how to make your own news reader, uh, which means you're gonna have your own uh, news sources and you're gonna have it all in one place. The application we're gonna build is gonna look something like this. I'm gonna teach you how to parse JSON, how to make your slide in menu, and a lot of more stuff. In this video, we're not gonna do much. We're just gonna start with our design of our application. So I hope you guys enjoy. We need a JSON feed where we can read and get articles from and for this we're gonna use the news API I found, news API and the link is right this one or you can find it in the description below. For this you will need to get your API key by registering and then after you get your API key you can use 54 sources to get JSON feed from. Uh, for this project I'm just gonna use the TechCrunch and TechRadar starting with TechCrunch. In this news API you get uh, different kind of uh, feeds for example on TechCrunch you can get uh, sorted by top which means top articles and the latest articles. Uh, they also provide on um, some uh, sources with most popular but for this one they just provide top and latest. So seeing this request you can see that URL, it usually stays the same and the only thing that changes is the source, in this occasion is the crunch, and sort by is top. And you can see here, the sort by is latest. Everything else is the same. So we're gonna take this in our advantage and let's go and see what this URL contains. Let's open a new tab. Pressing the URL, we see we receive a JSON format. And what does this JSON contain? It contains an array, as we can see, of articles sorted by top, the source is TechCrunch, and the status is OK that we did receive articles from this URL request. So, in articles, we can see that we have uh, author, description, published at, title, and URL, and URL to image. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, the body for this article uh, so we have to open this link in a uh, web view in our project that's gonna open the website and you can read the article from in there so having this in mind let's go and start our project <coughs> open Xcode go to file new project and this is gonna be a single view application. Let's call this news reader. It's gonna be language Swift Universal Devices. And let's go. I'm gonna create it here. Now, you know, let's start with uh, our design in the main view controller, in the main storyboard. I'm sorry. The main storyboard. What do we want? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a navigation bar at the top like this okay looks a bit weird that's fine I'm gonna put a table view we need a table view for this where we're gonna populate our articles I'm gonna expand it exactly like this and also because I want to give to my uh, navigation bar a bit of color I'm gonna put a UI view on the top of it like this, I'm gonna stretch it just like this. Uh, let's put constraints in our views. I'm gonna put this on top. So, putting constraints, I want this view to be pinned at the very top, right? And I also want a height of 20 because this will cover the status bar. In the navigation bar, we want to pin it. And just underneath it and on the bottom uh, on the top of the table view so we're done and this one the table view we want to stretch it as well fully in our controller perfect now let me give it a bit of color this view we have a uh, let's say darkish green and this one we have a darkish green as well by removing the transculant, the quicksand, 
this is fine and also I need to change the title I'll put it news reader just like this and the title color is gonna be white it looks nice so now in the table view we want one uh, one prototype cell where we can put our skeleton and how is it gonna look every cell so what do we want we want an image we receive from every article an image so let's go and put an image right here and I'm gonna give this a one third one sorry one thirty width with one thirty height make it a good square I'm gonna pin it to left margin at the constraints and then I'm gonna put it uh, vertically in the container or center it vertically in the container that's done right like this so our image will appear right there now we want a title label or sorry label where we're gonna put our title so I'm gonna put a bit of text like title like this so I know it's a title it might contain a bit of text I'm gonna put unlimited lines because I don't know how many lines there are gonna be I'm gonna pin it 8 pixels from the image view and I will also uh, give this one constraint and also I want to align it with the top image view so I'll put top that aligns it to the top I will also want to pin it 8 pixels from the right margin and yep, I'll give it like this for now let's update the frames for the height I will have to play a bit so let's also put this in a bolt because we want a bolt and let's put 16 size, font size update this, ok perfect now we also want a label with the description and the description is gonna have 15 size uh, text that's ok, unlimited lines I'm gonna just put text text here text, 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 text. just to show that it has a lot of text what? so I'm gonna pin this 8 pixels uh, from the top 8 pixels on the left and 8 pixels on the right yeah, and now let's update this <coughs> so uh, now that we put the description, the title and the image we will also want to put the author the author I will put right at the uh, right corner I'm gonna just I want to expand this cell a bit and put the level there I'm gonna pin it on the uh, bottom right corner like this uh, it's gonna have one line and the size I want to be smaller with gray color like this this is gonna say author <sighs> all right now that I have the text and the author, I want those to not overlap, so we put a vertical um, vertical uh, constraint which is gonna be equal of 8 pixels, but this is greater than well, sorry, uh, the constraint, this one is gonna be greater than or equal to 8, which means the text the description text can be smaller or bigger and I'm gonna expand this not that much just a bit yeah okay this looks good 
All right, I'm gonna put it 14 so it can fit a lot bigger text. I'm not gonna use a date that uh, they provided from the JSON. So uh, now that we created our cell, what will we need to do? We need to create two things. First, we will need to give the identifier to our cell, which is gonna be article cell. And we also need to uh, create a class for our cell. We do this, right click on the uh, project file and then new file. And then new Cocoa touch class. This Cocoa cl uh, class is gonna be UI table view, I'm sorry, table view cell. And I'm gonna call this article cell. I'm gonna create this. Now that we created the cell, I'm going here and when clicking on the cell going to uh, going to identify inspector identity inspect inspector you press article cell as class and then opening the uh, system editor you need to connect those you need to connect uh, those outlets to the article cell so automatic it's not gonna help us if I don't select no I'll have to go manually in this reader and select the article cell so I'm in article cell I'll open my view and I'll click open I'll call the image view this I'm gonna call title The description of the call desk and the author. Oops, I accidentally did the author as desk, and I don't want that, so I will have to go here and disconnect it. And I want to connect this back here. So, desk is this one, and let's create the author. So I created my outlets that I have in my cell. So we are ready to go with our view. That's how it's gonna look. One more last thing we're gonna need. Since we are opening, uh, sorry, since we are reading articles, we will have to create an article class. This article class will have to incl include these things except the published art that I'm not gonna use but if you wanna use you can just follow the same steps as I'm gonna show you and you can use this if you want to so let's go and make our uh, article class we go again to the project folder and press new file right click a new file and we're gonna create a new Coco attach class it's gonna be an NS object and we're gonna call it article article that's it, it's language swift and we create it here now this article let's make a bit of space this article class like we said it's gonna have a title var um, I'll call it headline my keyboard is a bit slow uh, sorry headline which is a type of string and I'm gonna put optional it has a description I'm gonna call desk sorry desk string optional it has an author optional string again and it has an email uh, actually it has a, a URL where we're gonna use it to open our web view and also it has a image URL which is again string so we took those five things from five of the six uh, things they provide us and that our article class I'm gonna uh, stop here and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to populate these things, these cells, from the uh, feed that we received.
but before I close one more last thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna connect this table view this table view from if I go to view controller I'm gonna connect the table view I'm gonna right click and drag and I'm gonna call it the table view I need this outlet I'm gonna close the assistant editor and I will need to comfort the table view delegate and the table view data source in order for our table view to listen to our class now this error that it gives us it, we need to comfort to uh, our delegate which is a couple of uh, couple of methods one of them is self for index path for robot index path I'm sorry what we do this we create a cell let cell equals table view dq a reusable cell with identifier for index path the identifier is article cell I'm gonna show you where we got this from and the index path is index path from the one that we received from the method and then we return that cell now this article cell we received when we gave the identifier to this cell right right here identifier is article cell and a couple of more methods is section for number of sections sorry we're gonna return one section only and number of rows number of rows in section for that one section we're gonna return for now zero later on instead of zero we're gonna return as many articles as we have so I'm gonna finish the video right here in the next video we're gonna download all that feed we're gonna get this image and we're gonna display in that cell and we're gonna display as many articles are there in this feed apparently there are 10 or something and see you guys in the next video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed in the next video i'm gonna show you how to uh, parse your json and we're gonna populate our table view if you liked please uh, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more series like this.